could you imagine that there's so much to tell you about? I, I, I fathom that you want to know all about Sister So-and-So over at the church. Girl, just pull up a chair and listen real good because I got some juicy business to tell you, girl. I have been waiting. You know, I heard that she's got five children and neither of the fathers are her husband and that she has been adulterously living her life from bedroom to bedroom, man to man. Girl, what you done heard about that? Well, girl, you know, it, it is true. I, I just don't know how a woman could carry herself in such a way. I mean, you know, I know I, I used to do some things in my time. But, uh, girl, I am righteously saved in Christ's righteousness. I'm clothed in his righteousness. I, I don't know how these people do the things that they do, girl. Behold, you wicked and adulterous nation. You think that because you don't sin like your brother, that you are better than they? I see you, although they, your brother, whom you may discuss and dissect, do not know the certain things of your character. I am God, and I see you. I understand your wickedness. I listen in on your conversations. And what right do you have to talk about another sinner when you yourself are sinful? Oh no, God, I, I, I really, I, I really didn't mean it. Well, I, I, I didn't, I, I didn't mean it either. You know good and well that in the judgment all men shall stand before me and you will not point fingers at another soul and say, well, Lord, look at what they did or look at what they did. You will stand before me and your own sins shall be presented before me. What will you say then? Uh, well, well, God, I, I mean, you, you know, I was in church every week. And you know, Lord, I, I used to do all the good stuff. You know, I was a deaconess and, uh, you know. It doesn't matter. I look at your heart and your heart was cold. Your heart was sinful. Your heart was jealous and envious. Your heart needed a transplant, but you never sought me for the transformation that I could give you. 